I had always seen, you know, plenty of films and photos from riding in the Alps, but I'd never experienced it. We were in Munich for the ISPO trade show, and it had dumped a bunch in the French Alps, and so we made the trek over. Yes, we just got done ISPO in Munich. We are going to go to France, outside of Mont Blanc. So we're on our way. We're going to go pick up Freddy in Geneva, and then we'll be there around midnight tonight. There he is. How are you, brother? We locked into like four or five perfect days. Great snow. OK, you ready? Good crew. Ten seconds. And yeah, awesome terrain. Three, two, one, drop. We really lucked out on that French Alps trip. Cover three, two, one, drop. Hey, Freddie, you're right. Yeah, I'm bleeding, but I'm okay. Yeah, Freddy! Where we were riding, there's no helicopter or snowmobile access. I think when you have time to kind of slow down and really look at the line you're going to ride, be able to like hike up right next to it. You can really spot your line out and take your time as opposed to just like hopping in the heli and doing a quick flyby. <laughs> I got the shot. It's much slower, but it's not a bad thing at all. We were in this pine tree forest and it looked a lot like British Columbia. Yeah! Yeah, pretty! We did one day there, and then we were like, well, we're going to be able to get this stuff later on in March and April. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Freddy! Yeah. It is super fun riding, but we should go get some stuff that actually looks like Europe. That's a wrap in here. Shredded the shit out of this zone. Luckily, there was really good snow down in the foothills of the mountain, where like these old farmhouses were. We just ended up playing around on the roofs there. <laughs> I think it gives the film kind of a cool feel because it's much different looking jumping off a couple hundred year old houses. It was cool to be able to play around on them. It warmed up in France, so we headed to Sosfe because of the change in elevation and the glacier. Welcome home. The terrain in Sosfe is crazy. It's all alpine, super glacial, lots of ice. Look at the snow. Oh, not so good. You have to have someone who knows how to navigate through the crevasses. Woke up a little bit, build an anchor. And you're gonna rope up. Luckily, Freddy does, because if not, you can fall in a hole and you might never come out, never be found. I just need to do a big step, so keep it tight. That's the bridge here. Unfortunately, the warm weather from France had also headed to a sauce bag. It was 
too warm, much too dangerous to be playing around on the ice with how warm it was. So we decided to pack up the bags once again and head even further north. As far north as we could go. Yeah, Rick Scranton was sick. I had wanted to go there for years after watching Subject and all these films that had, you know, Rick Scranton and them just ripping it apart. The way the wind goes through there, it forms all these crazy cool features. It was really cool to go there, especially in May when it's light 20 hours a day. It's definitely a very different pace up there. You ride the lift and then you just hike out from there. Very Euro style. first couple days we were there, we had some sun. What are you doing? Just a tester. So we decided to get the shovels out for the first time in the winter and build a massive hip. And luckily we had the Swiss Precision with us, Freddie K, who knows how to build the perfect hip. Sick. I like the angle. Yeah, Freddy, you got that, man. Looks real good. 